So I'm going to assume that I've started off Baby Yoda. That's the wrong one. <laughs> so here, this is what we created on last week's um, stream. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The cargo ship looks quite nice. Fairly chuffed. Um, this is all now available to download on the Patreons. Value-ish. So yeah. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Let's now go ahead and create our next thing. So click on that, but I will close you because I don't need you anymore. From here, I am public. That is good. I am just going to click and drag our photo in here. And we're going to be thinking about something like this. Okay. What? I don't know. Let's, let's see how long we can last with this stream. We'll rotate X 90 degrees. Um, but we will use this as a concept as a yeah kind of like concept drawing so this is what we're going to be using for so let's go ahead straight away start off by deleting that default cube because we don't want it and i don't have screen capture keys oh i don't have a do I? screen capture all right sorry next time i forgot all about that all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to import a character and just so I've kind of got him sitting there as a uh, as a reference. So let me just quickly jump into my temp folders, character for testing, main character, sure. Let's import this chap. Thanks, mum. Mum just uh, liked one of my photos on Instagram. <laughs> Guten Tag. Guten Tag. I'm confident in you. <laughs> I am like wrecked as it is it's 10 30 at night import mr white oh i could have yeah yeah it's it's like 10 30 it's at it's quarter to 11. i sometimes worry about myself oh how does it work alt f yeah alt f all right um from here quick rig uh this button here shut up quick rig preserve volumes okay it will dump it in Beautiful. All right. That makes life a lot easier. So from here, what I'm going to do is let's just kind of just put him in a position. Whack. Whoops. Not that. That. Control C, Control Shift V. Uh, something like that. Um, is this? Nope. So let's come up into tools. And I just want it to be like so. I want you to be like so. And then you're going to sit something like that, mate. Or oh, mate. There we go. Um, let's give you a bit of a bit of a hippie hip hip change. Whoops, that was kind of bad. There we go. How's that looking? Mm. Rotate Z. Come, on, just just put him in a nice spot, and bring his shoulders down a little bit. Control C, Control Shift V, Control C, Control Shift V. There we go. Good enough. And now what I'm going to do is make sure we select all this. M, move to a new collection, and I'm just going to put him in character so I don't have to worry about him anymore. Go away. Excellent. Lynn, welcome. Rebel, welcome. Jax? I don't know what that says, but welcome. <laughs> So I'm looking at this as being the main cockpit in here. And so there's just going to be a whole bunch of like, just wires and crud underneath. Um, but that's what we're going to be kind of basing it on. So what I'm going to do is let's just have a bit of a play and see what we can come up with without doing much work. So I'm guessing it's going to be something like that. Let's put an edge loop through there. Press V to rip. And then I'm just going to delete that side because I don't need it. And we'll go into a mirror modifier. I think maybe this is too far forward. Something like that. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the best approach. Maybe let's delete that. I'm just trying to work out what's the best way just to start off with. And so maybe this might be the best way. And we'll scale that on the Y. Okay. Scale it on the Z. And so we've got this. I'm going to press 
Um, Alt left click on that V to rip and I just want to get rid of the bottom bit and we will do the same here on the back a hey. on the back let's do V to rip control L delete vertices I oh, said healthy oh I am far from healthy <laughs> I shouldn't be here all right, let's go Alt S. We're going to scale that up. Make sure we've got clipping enabled. Um, and then what we might do, I'm just going to expand that out. Let's go Alt. Nope, 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 nope. Let's come up to the top here. Scat. Scale from the center. Why are you doing that? Oh, that's individual origins. Donkey. All right. There is method to my madness. So what I want to do from here is that we want that kind of flared out thing. Technically, we could probably put, a, yeah, maybe even just a bevel. So if I go delete edge loop, select this edge. And if we scale that out, let's go now with a B. Oh, this is going to suck. I don't think F spy is going to help because they're not, it's not mirrored as per se. And there's no really like X and Y axis. Like, I mean, we've got a few X here, but there's nothing on the Z. There's nothing on the Y. Is it a cylinder maybe? Maybe. <sighs> Far out. Sorry guys. This is, yeah, this is gonna be like the hardest part I reckon, is just getting it right. And then if we kind of, cause we've got that and then it curves out. Okay, so let's go delete these two faces. And then we're gonna grab this and this V V to rip control L delete vertices from here mirror modifier mm, I will delete this area here and we'll keep that on as clipping and from here maybe from here O for proportional editing And then that'll give us that line. Oh, it's working. Um, let's go delete uh, faces. And then I can select this, control L, delete vertices. Um, maybe add E spot. Oh, yeah, spot. Yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, and then. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oops. O, G. Uh, let's go delete this edge. Delete this edge. And then what I might do is just grab this section and go GG. And we'll just line it up like that. So from here, maybe what we can do is... Actually, I am going to come up into my character up the top here. Enable more filters. And I do not want to select this character anymore. This as well, I don't want to select that image. So now when I press A to select everything, I will only be selecting my mesh. Okay. Something like that. I am down for that. And then from here, we can kind of bring it out. Um, nice. So now, from here, let's try this. B to extrude Y, scale Z, zero. Um, let's find what level this is, is on that. And then we're gonna paste that in there. Nice. What we can do here is go put a bevel, bevel on. I'm gonna assume that my normals are wrong. So if I go face orientation, nope, they're fine. Control B. I've got a feeling that multiple um, 
points in there. Let's go merge by distance. 12 vertices. Suck a lemon. So now we've got... Yes. Yes. It's coming together. Um, let's go ahead. And maybe... Not this vertice, but I might go scale on the X. Then we can come in, control B. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. From here, we can continue to expand this edge. Um, and then once again, we might just do a small little bevel. Yes. All right. Okay. We're cooking with gas. So now we can move this back in. And now what we have is if we go E to extrude along the X, I can now come up into, make sure not the individual origin sunshine into the medium point. And we can scale that down like so. And then what I'm looking at, it's almost as if, it's almost as if I can now go E to extrude along the Y axis, please scale on the X. And that's what that, bit there is looking like sick sick okay so let's just continue to block this out I mean we'll probably do a bevel in there to round off especially this corner here um, and the other thing that I was thinking of is let's go control s and we'll just save it the other thing that I was thinking of is if I were to come into a UV sphere and let's just get out of face orientation because it's slightly annoying. Sphere, where are you? You're in the character. I don't want you in the character. I want you up here, Sunshine. And we'll make sure we're working in the right collection. Um, so what I was thinking is from here, we scale this and then we've got something like this. Whoops, make sure we got that in the middle. So let's put that back on the X zero. And so now because I've got the bull tool enabled, shift left click, control numpad minus, and that's now cut out that hole. So it's not too bad. I think it'll work and then we can kind of clean up the mesh some more. Um, but for now, I'm just going to hide that because I don't want to do too much damage just yet. So let's go merge, uh, new, sorry, M, new collection, and this is going to be our bulls. Bull, bull. All right. And then from here, what I'm half thinking is I'm not going to touch anything else. Maybe we can just throw a solidify modifier on it. And we'll make it a little bit thicker. Yeah, nice. And we can see that we've got some engines under there. This bit underneath looks interesting. Let's add in the cylinder. I've got ideas. There we go. Okay. Watch, watch. We can do this. V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. Oh, Tom's here. Well, hello there. And then we'll throw on a mirror modifier. G to the Z. Let's go delete faces just for now because what I want to do is actually cut this partly in half. So we're going to probably delete all these vertices. Mm, I think I took off a little bit too many. So control numpad minus. There we go. Just to shrink my selection. And from here, we'll delete these vertices. I will select this face now. We'll go F. And then we'll start. <laughs> I get starved. A. There we go. And then this will be kind of like our front section. Yes. 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 <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Um, and then from here, we can grab this. Mm, this might get a little bit ugly. Alt S. No. Nah. So, because if I'm going to start scaling like that, we've got to start realigning some of it. But once again, we're kind of just following this as a guide. And E to extrude. Let's scale it one more time. G to the Z. And then from here, let's go Shift D, G, X. 
E to extrude, and then we've got something like that. Um, let's go maybe line this up with more of the wings. So let's go G to the Y. We're going to have something like that. Let's go Control Numpad Plus, G to the Y. GY, GY, hey, 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 hey. GY, something like this. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Good stuff, GY. I mean, she'll be right. It is an interesting design. <laughs> Thought I might watch. Marco was. Oh, I so want to do Star Citizen. I don't have time for Star Citizen. <laughs> Such a good game. Um, and then what we can, we can start going into some creative designage. And we're going to go Control Z. I just see kind of like there's something here. So let's grab that GY scale on the Y, the X, Y, bring that in. And so I think, I think we're pretty much on the money on what this looks like. The wings are maybe a little bit far apart. I think maybe that this section here is not needed. And then we can come in and I'm just gonna, the. I did hit that button. Um, I changed my sensitivity far out. We'll grab this and we'll just go GG. And then we'll have something like that. I think, I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and control S and save. From here, what I'm gonna do is just start adding a little bit of extra detail. So I'm just gonna kind of go like so. Let's go E to extrude, Alt S, bring that in. Um, what else do we have? Let's, I can't select that because I disabled it. So make sure we can select that again and we'll disable that. So I'm assuming that this here is another ship behind it. I don't see any intake, but what I am seeing is kind of like these pieces here coming underneath and back. So maybe if I grab a few of these pieces, something like this, let's go shift D and then we're going to snap up all these pieces here. Let's press O for proportional editing and we're going to have something like that. Maybe we might select these two, scale Z zero. Blah. Control LP, separate by selection. And we will dump that back in like here. Let's now go ahead and scale along the X. And then yeah, we can go ahead and probably just start like adding in some greebly bits underneath. Because that's what it seems like. It seems like that's going to be the core of this is just these greebly bits. Definitely we've got piece up here, we've got a piece up here, but there's no really big defying like sci-fi engine, if you know what I'm saying. If you hear what I'm putting down. <laughs> uh, but for the sake of this, I am going to throw in an engine probably about here. Hey! Let's go into uh, edit mode. I just want to make sure that we're not screwing myself later. And there we go. Let's come in G Y. That is too far. G Y. Um, we can probably E to extrude scale along the X and then we can go ahead and bring them down. Obviously we throw on that mirror modifier. I mean, we're still in the blocking phase. I think we can probably even lower that profile and maybe under here we just throw in like a sci-fi engine so for instance let's jump over to that kit bashing set 
asset browser, something like small. Let's go into Markham 3D. Let's go into my kit bashing. I know the piece that I'm after as well. See, these are all big engines. This is a smaller engine. So if I were to kind of go like that, Alt R, rotate Z 180. It's almost kind of like, I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there now. X, go on, move over. Uh, let's go into a mirror modifier. And we'll select our ship to be our mirror. There we go. So maybe something like that. That might look alright. Um, not sure that the right upper thingy in the reference picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I was thinking as well. So I was thinking it's either a ship, another ship behind it, or it's something else. Um, but over here on the left, this is what I'm more referencing. I mean, at the end of the day, we're using it as a concept. We're using it kind of like as an idea generation. I do like this lip. But I do like how it's got the sphere. And then there's a plate in here. So maybe even... <laughs> maybe even... It'll be something like this. We scale this on the Y. Really dig it in deep. Deep and wide, deep and wide. And then what this will allow us to do is put in like that separate plate. So let's go, let's just try it. Control numpad minus. No, don't like that at all. Get back. Back where you were. Now we go control numpad minus. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Head's a little bit cut off. I think that we do still need to bring this back. Yeah. Justin Timberlake. But <laughs> when did that come out? That'd have been like 2000. Justin Timberlake. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Bringing sexy back. Yeah, when did it come out? 2006. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Far out. Okay. <laughs> Control numbad minus. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. Probably a little bit too far back. And bring it up. I think, I reckon that'll look nice. Yeah, we can go ahead and fill that out later. All right. So, uh, actually, let's, why not? We'll just leave it there as is. And let's go ahead and just start mucking around with this. So from here, I think I might put an edge loop in here. I'm going to select this edge here and go G to the Z and bring it down. Then I can now grab that edge loop, control B to do a bevel. And then we've got it just kind of like just that fade. I'm on two. I'm 30. What year are we? 20. I'm 37 at the moment. So yeah, me olding. Let's go GZ and we'll bring that down and we'll do the same again. Control B to do a bevel. Not feeling that one. Mm. All right, we might come back to that. Let's go ahead now and fix this. O for proportional editing, G to the Z and we'll bring that down. And we'll do the same here. G to the Z. Nice. Um, I think let's go ahead and maybe do an edge loop through here. Control B. B. Control B. GG. Mm. GG. Oh, oh, too far. Too far, Marco. GG. I am feeling... Like I should be 
Where are you going, mate? GX. Hmm. I don't like it one little bit. E to extrude, scale, shift X. And then that can sit back up here. There we go. Uh, let's give that a bit of a bevel. What the? Merge by distance. There we go. Had a whole bunch of vertices in there that did not belong. Control B. Uh, we'll grab this now and we'll go GG. And I'm just going to kind of like roughly line that up. Ah, it is lined up. Is it? Stuff you can line up like that. Ah, scale on the Y. There we go. That's better. That's better. By the way, you forgot to. Oh, dang it, did it again. Thank you, Mr. Emerger. Uh, let's jump on the Discord. Do a little bit of a uh, mid journey over there. Mm. Showcase, film talk, self promotion. Why not? At everyone. Um, I have a link to my. Let's click on this thing, and I'm going to click on this thing, and then I'm going to minimize that thing, and I can't see chat. Um, currently live. Do I want to send? Yes, I will send that to all those people now. And that's me. I'm looking at myself on the screen. Oh, crud. All right. Okay. 30, 37 is an old. Oh, gosh. What are you, a merger? Actually, don't say. I don't want to know. Uh, so, I'm, yes, I like the shape of this body. I don't like the front here, but I kind of just want to start moving on. Um, what can we do with here? I'm going to hide that panel just to start off with. Let's come into Shift A, Curve, Shift A, Curve, and we're going to go into Bezier. Just want to move that down, select everything, delete vertices. Then we can come into draw, come over into tools. I want to draw on the surface and let's do an offset. And then technically if I draw, that's, if we kind of do this, uh, then we can come into select. There we go. And let's just move that out a smidgen. And for those of you who didn't know this tip, hey, why aren't you subscribed? <laughs> so pretty much what we've done now is we've drawn on a pipe. Um, now we're going to go into geometry, depth, and let's just increase the depth. There we go. Where that part's going to go, I don't know. I don't care. But we will put that in there somewhere um, so we can continue to go ahead and do some drawing so for instance maybe we go like so and then back in um, let's go from here up into here nice and so this is all that we're kind of adding in all those pieces this is the lazy way oops that was a bad one Let's kind of go like so, and then that can go into some sort of apparatus in there. Um, maybe, mm -hmm. no, we won't. We'll keep the top clean and we'll just fill the bottom with junk, I reckon. I reckon that's the grouseness. Um, by the way, yeah, yeah, let's just say, oh gosh, dude. I want to say I'm not far behind you, but I, I, I'm a little bit far behind you. All right, so what I'm going to do now is let's maybe just go sh Shift D, duplicate, then select everything, delete vertices, and I'm going to increase this. And then from here, let's kind of go maybe, whoop, whoop, I can do this, I know how to draw. We'll do something like so, so a bigger pipe. Let's just flip that around. And then I'm going to go like this. 
Ah, that's interesting. I'm more than happy with that. Let's go ahead and delete vertice, delete vertice, delete vertice. There we go. So now we've got these kind of like giant pipe splicing through all this. And while we're at it, let's go like so. That was the wrong button. Okay, let's, uh, oh, wait. <laughs> let's increase the size there. Uh, we were in the wrong mode and we will just draw another one into there you go, mate. Uh, let's go like so. And we're just going to quickly fix up these pipes in here. Rotate Z. Something like that. This one here. Da, da, da. Can you stop being a jerk? And then we've got that. Cool. So you can see how quickly we've just added in some really crazy pipes. Let's throw on the mirror modifier. Let's grab these ones and they can have a mirror modifier. Yeah, nice. And now it's going to be all about creating all these little crud things behind it. I put a five behind my six. And I, oh gosh, you did too, didn't you? How's procedural rope? Oh yeah, I should check that one out. I completely forgot. Uh, which software would you advise to rotate animation to show products? Oh, well, that's a really simple thing to create. So for instance, I'm going to go shift S cursor to selected. Let's just go save from here. I'm going to go into an empty. Let's just go cube. Nice big cube. Select everything. Control P. And then we can kind of like rotate like that. If you want to rotate the um, object, if you don't want to rotate the object and you want to rotate, let me just undo all that. And if you want to uh, rotate the camera, control A, we're going to shift A, add in a camera, find the view that you like, control, alt, numpad zero, we'll set the camera up. We can parent it to the empty. And now you just animate the, the uh, camera. So that's fairly straightforward. There you go. There's a there's a brief tutorial for you. Let's go delete and delete. Okay. So I'm pretty keen on how this looks, but it's more these parts. What are these parts going to be like? I mean, we could probably jump straight into the kit bashing set and just start adding a few things. But I reckon we go ahead and just start adding just some random things in here. Let's go E to extrude scale shift X. So we've got something like that. Um, let's maybe go into here. I E ooh, ooh, ah. Wada wada bing bang. Ooh, ah. Select all these. I'm going to press I I. I I captain. Yahar. And then let's go scale Y zero. Let's go, I'm just gonna plop it in like so. And then we've got these kind of like really, well, oh, that's that actually looks pretty suave. That's not bad. Um, I am gonna go shade smooth, looks like crud. However, if we come over here into the normals, auto smooth, pa -chow. So, <laughs> I do like a good ooh ee, ooh ooh ah. Ooh, what a what a bing bang, ooh ah. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, I just, I don't even know what these pieces look like. Okay. Let's kind of create that piece in there. So shift S cursor to world origin, make sure it's in the center. And we're going to go cubely. Uh, scale on the Y. I'm peckish. Let's go I to do an inset and we're going to do something like that. Control L shift D. Let's scale that down. All right. That's a, that's a nice looking piece. Um, I want to though, grab both of these pieces, scale on the Y axis. And then we have that from here. I just want to, let's just clean up the mesh a smidgen, delete idiot, delete face. Um, we actually might even just grab that, scale it on the X a little bit, just give it some extra love. GZ, 
something like that. Maybe what we might do is let's go control B to do a bevel. And then we're going to grab both of these edges again, control B to do a bevel. And then we'll select these parts and we'll bring it out a little bit. Cool. Um, what I want to do now is select these back pieces. Shift S cursor selected. Right click. Nope. 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 Right click. Set origin to 3D cursor. There we go. And then I will rip this apart at a later stage and we'll add it to the kit bashing set. So something like that. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, Shift D. Let's go rotate like so. And we'll make that a bit bigger. G to the Y. Plop that one in there. All right. You're sticking out in the wrong way, buddy. Something like so. G Y. So it's gone it in a little bit too deep something like that and then from here we can get that mirror modifier going Giggity. and then we'll put that one there <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh don't forget to put in the keys for animation oh, i'm not animating right now <laughs> bro are you asleep today i am cooked i am so freaking tired but I must persevere. It is Sunday night, and we must. Stuff. Yes. Delightful. Perchance. Mm. Throwing on a bevel on there. Interesting. If I hide that. Right, so the bevel's not coming on. If I put the bevel up here. Okay, whatever floats your boat. 0.01. Yeah, okay. I'm down with that. Now it's 2 a.m. It is 11.20 at the moment. Um, all right, let's kind of gather. I think we need some sort of... I want to, I want some sort of like curvature piece, I reckon. I reckon that's the key. Let's go Alt-H to hide. I'm going to grab this plate. Uh, where is, where's the, oh, gee, ah, sucker lemon, uh, let's go control A and apply the location, so that now when I come back and put it back in its spot, it'll appear, all right, so from here, period key, please, zoom in, thank you, we are going to create, maybe, let's go like that, jeez, oh, and I'm going to go delete faces, Control, no, undo that sunshine. And we're gonna go Shift D, Alt G to send it back to where it came from. And then I'm gonna press H to hide. Um, and then what we're gonna do is kind of maybe just create some sort of plating that kind of like covers that front bin, front bit, God's word, welcome, thank you. Uh, do you take commissions on creating 3D assets? Just, just message me on Discord, nah. I haven't really done any commissions um, for artwork. I don't. I don't understand how people can do freelance. It scares the crud out of me. Um, however, in saying that, I am doing a little bit of freelance for UV Packmaster Three, so I'm actually creating the tutorials for his channel. And we've got a really good system, Lucas and I. So make sure you go check out that add-on and check out the channel, because you will hear me. Um, okay, so from here, what are we doing? I'm going to select everything, E to extrude, Alt S, and we'll bring that in. Um, I, mm, mm. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Maybe, maybe we'll do my favorite things. Let's just delete a few of these vertices. And I'm going to put an edge loop through there. Let's grab these two, scale on, no, 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 no. Scale one side. I hate you. Why is there multiples? Merge by distance. There we go. Let's go now. Scale along the X. I reckon that's pretty suave. 
control B. And then we'll do it again on this plate, control B. Oh, this is going to be a big one. And if I just go Alt G, put that into place, I mean, I mean, what's digging? Jim Wallace. Oh, I, I, oh. Well, I normally have this shirt, my Garnock shirt, uh, but that one's like 15 years old. The other shirt's in the wash. I actually haven't worn this shirt for a while because it was at the bottom of the pile, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, let's increase that. Uh, you're going the wrong way, sunshine. Shift N. There we go. Let's come into here. Auto smooth. And yeah, those are some nice looking plates. A little bit too thick for my liking. So let's come back into the modifiers and we will bring that back. <laughs> oh, good. It's all right. My brother would have killed me. Um... Who? What's what? Kel Dim. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. AI for turning. What? I will check that out. Interesting. Let me uh, let me just put that into Outlook to have a look at. So, <laughs> funny story is because I've been starting to do AI stuff a little bit more now uh one of the comments that i had was i'm getting sick of your channel doing ai stuff the very next comment said oh my goodness i love the ai stuff i couldn't subscribe faster i'm like that's that's youtube how they were image streaming ai Ooh, yes i will i will send them a message tomorrow morning or well, tomorrow at some point but it is in the calendar now to follow that up. Um, I do like how this is looking. I wonder if I go plating, if I go greeble, if I go plating, oh, wow. Alt F. If I go plating, Interesting. Oh man, I'm cooked. Such a headache. Okay, um, I want to go corners rivets. I'm gonna throw in some rivets. Oh yeah, fairly straightforward. I'm down with that. I'll buy that for a dollar. That looks that looks kind of cool. Um, I just find out. <laughs> Ah, well, welcome, Nixo. Welcome. I love and hate the... I know, I know. Well, the next thing I want to play with is NVIDIA's audio to face. Uh, is this a free add-on? No. If... Uh, let me find it for you. Uh, absolutely. I do use this add-on quite a bit. Um, let me just get it for you. Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, what a, what a, bing, bang. Mm-mm. Let me click on that, and then we've got that one there. So that's this is the add-on here. Timothy J. I think I remember seeing something about it, but I don't remember seeing anything about them after modelers. Um, but anyway, I'll check it out. Shift S cursor or Shift S cursor world origin. Let's kind of build something in this section now. So I'm going to go in and add in a new cylinder. G. Mm, yeah, what else? Rotate. Ro 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 there we go. I know how this works. I've blended before. And so we're going to go... Oh, get stuffed. Something like this. Um, let's do another IE... E, something like that and we're going to place that in that section in there GY so about here-ish nope a little bit more nice I think that's a really good position let's go shift D we'll dump another one in there shift D and dump another one in there 
Uh, yeah, control A, apply the location. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Gosh. Shut up, I'm tired. No, you shut up. Um, let's go like so. Um, that there needs to be gone. I know, actually, let's go control LP separate by selection and we'll grab that and we'll slap this on, delete vertice. And what I want to do is kind of almost add a bit of a bracey McBrace brace, delete vertices. Let's select this and I'm going to go E to extrude, Alt S. Ah, you suck. Let's go GG. And then we're going to select that, GG. Excellent, Timothy. I am le glad. If you have questions, do not hesitate to ask. And we'll delete all those faces. And now I can come in and go delete faces. But then from here we can go G, Y. And I mean, as you can see, we're just we're just building up this. I think definitely I want to add in more crud in here. I mean, we could even go something like this. I to do an inset and E to extrude. And then that's already kind of broken up that silhouette. Um, let's grab maybe this here. Hey. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Um, actually, I, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I upload all my animated short films on Deadset Digital. I will find a link for that. Uh, where's the latest video? Dead set digital. Uh, there's the latest one. Oh, if I click on it, it's going to start playing. Don't play, don't play, don't play. Shh. Go check that out. What does apply location do? Does it eject? Yes. So, for instance, if I've got this, you can see it's off to the side. But if I go, well, if I go Alt G, it'll reset the location. You can see here how I've got the origin here. Um, where I sh really should have it in the middle. So I can go control A to apply my transformations. And so we can go location. Um, obviously if we come into here, we can see that the Z rotation is wrong as well. So I can go control A and apply rotation. Obviously you can do all transformations. So apply that rotation. Oh, bye, bye. Oh. <laughs> I reckon this guy needs to be bigger. Let's... Uh, don't know where that how much it came from, but what else? I'm actually going to grab it. Let's scale this down. I think it's going to sit something like... Oh, yeah, baby. Let's now select everything, control A, and apply that scale. That is looking grouse. Let's go control B and then we'll select this area again. Control B, G to the Z and we'll go G to the Y. That's, that's not bad. Now we're covering this PC in here. So let's go GZ, bring that down, bring it down some more. Yeah, nice. Um, I reckon we could even maybe grab this piece. No, 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 no. Shift D to the Z. Scale on the Y axis. G Y. G X. G Z. E to extrude. So we've got something like this. Um, maybe we'll grab this edge and bring it like so. G Z let's put another edge loop through there GZ let's see 
let's grab that and we will just kind of scale y zero scale y zero thank you right yeah i'll buy that for a dollar scale on the x nope i will not buy that for a dollar let's go control b put a bevel don't know about that looking gro no looking grouse grouse it's a victorian term for some reason i've adopted sorry australia victoria not the not the victorian era uh grouse is it gonna come up in google <laughs> bird grouse meaning uh urban dictionary urban dictionary It means excellent. First recorded in 1924, the word grouse may not be so popular today, but is included on the Urban Dictionary website as Australian slang mate. There you go. <laughs> Primarily in Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, according to ABC's online world map, however, grouse means excellent, is in use all over Australia. Get stuffed. It's used all over Australia. Nobody uses it all over Australia. Only stupid Victorians. And me. All right. Uh, uh, how much do you worry about all the kit bashing stuff? Ah, not really. I don't really look at it. I'm not very, not really concerned on what the actual kit bashing does, um, because I'm going for more, more visual prettiness. I guess let's say that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm, I'm never really too concerned about it. Um, but speaking about kit bashing, I am, let's, 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 let's finish this up. So I'm going to go hide on that, go away image, and we're going to start dumping some stuff in the back here. Obviously we're not really going to be seeing it. Well, depending on what we're going to do with it. So let's go into Markham 3D. So this will eventually be available on Patreon. And like I showed right at the start of the video, the last week's cargo ship is on there already. So I just put that up. I do love this piece. This piece is so good. Okay, let's see what that does. Do, 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 do. Alt R, Alt G, rotate X 90 degrees. G to the Y, rotate Z 180. Hmm. I'm feeling the love in this one. GY. Actually, eh, we'll let it go. Should be right. Um, from here, I wonder what's this going to look like. Alt R, Alt G, Alt S, or not? Let's go rotate ninety to the minus. Oh, actually, no, I got a better place. Alt R, Alt G for that. Rotate Z 90. We're going to go like right here. Hey, rotate Y 180. Mm. That's not too shabby bam bam drink more water to reduce your headache i shall <laughs> uh can you point me someone that does a lot of industrial machines i'm trying to paint hazard stripes on a power lifter but i can't seem can't but i can't them the same size or straight ah uh, so I maybe, um, <sighs> decal. So you can do this using decals, best UV unwrapping. Yeah, yeah, shut up. This video might help on like wrapping decals around. Uh, so go check that out. That might help you. Might not, it might. Um, but that's the way I kind of do 
projection mapping so you can put decals on stuff and you can kind of like slap it on there um will you gonna will you gonna texture this beast i think i will i think what i might do is just throw it into substance and just see what comes out um this bit here is going to be a headache for me um but that is a future marco problem um oh heck yeah i love this piece alt r alt g I am such a fan of this piece. Let's put it like here. It's kind of like this aerial that I made. I was playing D and D one night, and uh, I don't know they were talking about stuff, and I'm like, "Cool, I'm just gonna uh, just start making a git bash instead." I like that piece. That's a good piece. That's a nice boulder. Um, from here, I know this piece here is nice. Uh, rotate another uh, rock. Rotate Y X. <laughs> rotate X ninety. Uh, let's bring that in like so. Nice. Oh yeah, actually this. Let's go G to the Z. Just seeing if that's in the middle. Is it in the middle? You don't seem like you're in the middle. Are you in the middle? Shift S, cursor to selected. Yeah, you're in the middle. Why doesn't it look in the middle? Because you're not in the middle. Oh, crud. There we go. Done. So that's now, oh, itchy nose. Does that mean my whole ship is out? My whole ship is out. Oh, you suck. You suck. You suck. Hey, you suck. Eh? Alright, this. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what I did. I must have touched something. Okay, where's that little piece? There's a little piece here. That, that's in the middle. That's not in the middle, which is fine this piece here this is what I was after all right we're back in the middle control s let's save resemble the time machine traveling spaceship <laughs> uh quick supply is a material incorrect is your mouse mouse broad can you not see my mouse surely not yeah my mouse is there Jeez. It's like, oh my goodness, losing the plot. Um, actually, yeah. U, zero. And we throw that mirror modifier on. Beautiful, it's already there. Um, here, you're a zero. All right, there we go. You, you're, you're fine. No, you're not. Far out, Marco. You suck. And that there. Okay, you, 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 all right, we've fixed everything up now. Um, I do want to add more crud around that section in there. So let's go ahead, see what else we can grab. Um, oh, this is what I wanted to do is let's go ahead and grab maybe this piece here. Alt R, Alt G. Something like this, something like this, something like this. Actually, maybe, maybe we can just put it here. And then what that'll do is it'll cover up a whole bunch of pizzazzle. Something like so. Yep. So we will now fake this. And so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. Control R. Control R. Control R. And then let's go, oh, sweet. Now I can come in, press B to uh, go into wireframe. 
So now we've got that. I can go delete vertices. Beautiful. Now I can come in and add that mirror modifier in. However, what I'm going to do now is go K into the knife tool. What is it? A to cut through everything? No. C. C. There it is. Okay, we press C and it should cut through everything. Enter. V to rip that puppy. Control L. Actually, I should be able to do it. I should be able to do this. Select that. Control L, delete vertices. And there we go. So now we've kind of got that plate in there looking schmick. Oh, do you have any tutorials on how to render an Eevee? Not really. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Thanks a lot. I hope you keep doing them people happy. Not people happy. Yeah. That's why. Oh my God, it's quarter to 12. <sighs> Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. 134 people. Okay. Let's uh, let's just keep smashing on. Um, we're going to come in. I'm going to try and find a piece. What I want to do now is kind of fill out this section in here. I think I know what I'm after. Yeah, maybe we just grab these. Scale that in. Don't know why you're up there, buddy. Um, so if I want to start like putting it on the surface, well done Marco, um, we can come up into here where we got snap two. I'm going to change this to face. I want to do the center. I want to go move and rotate and what is it? Medium point. I think it might be medium point. So now if I hold, go G and hold control, there we go. I can go rotate ZZ along the object normal what's the word i don't know what the word is but this is what we're going to do i'm going to go like that and then be super lazy let's go into a mirror modifier and we'll select that there we go nice maybe maybe we might even um let's do this as well i want to go shift d alt r to reset the rotation rotate x y 90 there we go put that in there then we're going to go rotate y x 180 and now we've kind of set that up in there that's kind of cool i like that i'll buy that for a cup of water <laughs> um let's go ahead and maybe we'll snap this one on as well i know it's just greeble bashing at the moment but uh, this is what we can do to get results fast, and especially because we're on live stream. Are you not in the center? You are in the center. Why do you not appear to be in the center? Because you're not in the center. There we go. All right. And let's move this one back a smidgen. Yes. That's filled out that nicely. Um... I do think we should be having some sort of parts on here. So maybe what we might do is throw these on and these are kind of like uh, the control rods for how it flies. So go rotate Z minus, scale that down. What weird angle are you on? I don't know. So let's go Alt R. Oh, you're designed weird. That's a, that's a, that's a Marco fault right there. Something like that. That looks kind of cool. I like that one. Let's throw a mirror modifier straight onto this main object. I dig it. Um, from here, I want a ton of cables. Let's go control S. Let's just put this off to the side for now. I'm gonna go with the main body selected, control I, invert the selection and hide it. And I'm just gonna to go to town and add in a few pipes, shift S, curse word origin. What is that line? Oh, that's the rig, that's fine. Shift A, curve, bezier, tab, select everything, delete vertices. Then we can come into the draw tool in tools for those of you who have just joined. Hi, welcome, subscribe. 
um, we come down into surface I've got an offset already turned on and then we're just gonna come in and just do kind of like a whole bunch of pipes just just doodle them around do, do, do. ah that's a yuck one something like that and I'm not being too like concerned about where these pipes are going why are they not offsetting can you can you offset yourself please all right whatever um then we come into the bezier give it a little bit of uh, thickness and there we go so now we've added in extra pipe inch now when i go alt h unhide uh, you can still hide you see now that we're just adding in extra like little bits and details. What is your setup? Do you use mouse and tablet? I am a mouse man. However, I am willing to try the space mouse or something that I've heard about. Uh, one of the guys at work swears on it. So I'm intrigued about what the space mouse is. Um, apparently it's like a 3D mouse, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's go and solidify go zero there we go definitely here we need to start adding a lot more parts and this is where the challenge is because it's kind of like rounded parts I guess um, we add textures in this part uh, I might do it offline I might so if you I will probably be streaming a little bit more um, on dead set digital uh let me find it where is it i don't know where it is all right let me go find my dead set digital channel there it is uh so throughout the week because i'm trying to get the hours up i'll be streaming on that channel so go jump over there watch the short film as well share it if you can i'm trying to build up that channel um so i'll be streaming over there and this, i'll probably be working on this short uh sorry not short this ship over there um, and then, cause I like to try and finish off a project every week and then onto the next animated short film. Oh my goodness. It is so much work doing animated short films. And the fact is, is so that one there took me a week and a half to do. Cause you have to remember like full-time job, got kids, family. I'm not on oh uh, yeah i'm not on youtube full time one day maybe not just yet sorry for the cat but be using my phone as a tablet <laughs> you need a mocap suit i've got two mocap suits i've got the perception neuron v2 and the perception neuron v3 i can see the three i don't know where the two is i think So yeah, this is the V3. <laughs> oh, so yeah, Perception Neuron V3. Oh, probably one of the best buys ever. And so that's how I've been able to whip out content pretty quick. Uh... Which one is better? The V, uh, the, the V3, absolutely. Um, I don't even know what to do with my um, V2, which is really annoying. I've just got it sitting there at the moment. All right, let's throw that on. Uh, run, run, rotate X, 180. Ooh. Rotate Z, 180. Rotate Z, something like that, I reckon. Um, but yeah, no, I don't have, I actually don't have any affiliate links or anything for the mocap suit, which kind of sucks, but, um, yeah, that's the one I use. Uh, I can't even remember how much I paid for it. Cause I know, you know, everyone talks about the Rococo, but I think, 
Doesn't the Rococo come with, like, you have to pay for a license to use it as well, I think? Where we, the perception you're on is once you buy it, you buy it. So. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. And uh, I'm I'm semi-intrigued now. 469 subscribers. 475 subscribers. Thank you for those who have uh, jumped over to the animated short film. Dead Set Digital and stuff. Subscribed. Very grateful. Um, oh my goodness, i got a chair in here. Sick. Oh, G. Scale. I've got a chair. Ah, <laughs> heck yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll fix that up as well. Oh my goodness. Well done, past Marco. <laughs> I tried the link to the windows, but it didn't work properly. Power mirror. Nah, remote desktop. All the way. I use it so often. Even when helping mum with IT support. I don't think mum's here at the moment, so I can talk about that. <laughs> I do... Something needs to go in here. And so what we might do is just grab that. Shift D, Z, P, separate by selection. Let's come into here. I'm going to put an edge loop. Edge loop. Do, 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 do. Edge loop. Edge loop. Shut up. And we'll go GZ and bring that up. And that's kind of like so. Could probably bring it down a little bit more. Yeah, I oh, see this. I want to add more things in here. Alt R, scale that down. So this is, yeah. Oh man, I'm so glad I made this set. Well, it's actually, I've got two sets. Um, so... Ugh. I know, you're fine. I know, it's just the angle of the engine. Rotate X. Rotate ZZ. Y, Y. X, X. X, X. Something like that. G, Y, Y. XX, ZZ. Oh, yeah. Control J to join that. Let's jump over here. Auto smooth, please. That's not bad. I'm not a fan of this. This looks freaking ugly. So let's go like that. The G, hold control, scale that down. Rotate ZZ. Yeah, I just want to hide some of this because it's just ugly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I can't hide it too much. Something like... Mm, maybe... Maybe we do this. So we're just hiding the ugly. Hey, you, hide. And then we can bring that into there. G, Y, something like that. Nice. Yeah, let's just go ahead and just start kind of like hiding all these rubbish pieces. Because, um, I mean, from the front, it doesn't look too bad. But from the back here, it's just a nightmare. Mm. Alright, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Around 7,000. I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, but recently got an S22 Ultra. Oh, drawing tablets. Right. Some vapor trails. I reckon I probably will. Maybe put some vapor trails on it. Where do I... Where do you upload? Normally on Instagram, I'll put them up. Uh, also on Patreon, throw them up there as well. 
So, yeah, put them up there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should be on, on the Patreons putting up a little bit more random stuff. In the stories, I'm starting to use it a bit more. Oh, this piece. I remember this piece. This piece is grouse. Hold R. Rotate 180. Rotate 180. Here we go. Oh, I like this piece. Oh, yeah, that's... That just looks nice. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, I'm going to kind of line that up with the engine. Something like so. Why is my phone buzzing? Is that you guys uh, following me? Hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, but make sure as well. Dead Set Digital. Let's get it on. Um, the, uh, the, I'll show you actually this short film here. This one here. Don't play. Um, whoa, 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 I lost you. This video here. Vice President of Omniverse NVIDIA re-liked it, re-shared it on LinkedIn. Like, <laughs> that was freaking sick. Hey, where do you get all the pieces from to Kitbash? So, they are all... Oh my goodness, they are all here. Let me just bring it up. So these are my kit bashing sets. So these are the ones that I use that I've created. Um, but I do have videos on some other kit bashing sets. There will be a more recent, there will be a talk Marco. There will be a new kit bashing video coming out soon. Um, and that's gonna, I'm gonna try and find all, a whole bunch of free kit bashing uh, sets and so on and so forth just to kind of grow your library as well but anyway this is uh, yeah this is where I get mine from is I make it <laughs> where the heck did that go okay let's go G I'm just gonna put that in there rotate X 180 rotate Z 180 uh, is that gonna fit in there are you gonna fit in there buddy you gonna you gonna fit in there yeah you gonna you gonna fit you're gonna, uh, no, you're uh, not gonna fit in that. No, delete. Uh, let's, you know what, while we're here, let's go ahead, let's get my sci fi material. Let's go control S and save because I haven't saved for a while, and that's very stupid of me. Cycles, GPU, let's go into 32, whatever that is, 256, denoise. Let's come over into shading. Okay, let's close that because I don't need that. Let's close that. I said close that. Let's come over into the world tab, shift A, search, add in a sky texture, plop that one in there. Delete, plop that one in there. I can't select the character. Good. From here, I'm going to select everything. Everything. What the? Fine. Copy material to selected. That's applied it to all there. Um, computer's going nuts because it's building up the shader. Um, it's too bright in the scene. So let's go down into film and we'll go 0.1. All right. So from here, I'm going to select everything. U, cubic projection. Done. And then from here, let's go into object. Select everything. And we're going to change this to maybe 0 0.01. 0 0.05. There we go. Now we've got scratchy scratch scratch pieces. I mean, it looks all right. Let's go into the world and we'll do a little bit of rotation on the world. Um, actually, no, what I'll do is create an empty, let's go cube, scale, 
control. Oh, let's just select A, control P to parent to object. And then I'm just going to rotate this around. Let's have a look what the underside looks like. I mean, it's not bad. All oh, these little cables are nice. The back end, mm, back end could be a bit better. Uh, it'll be interesting once we kind of fill that out. So let's go Alt R to reset the rotation. I'm just going to go select this interface, Shift D. No, oh, no, 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 no. Let's go Shift S, cursor to selected. And then I'm going to add in a UV sphere. Bring that down. Let's go something like that. From here, I'm just going to go create a new material. This is going to be Angel. Principal shader, no, yes. We want to have a mission. I want it to be Le Bleu. 50. And I'm just going to put a mirror modifier on that puppy. And if we kind of rotate that around, let's select that and select that. Control P, parent to object, rotate Z. So we'll see what the back of it looks like. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, let's just go back into here, do this. And we can go rotate. So let's see what does the underside look like. Underside looks nice. Definitely could probably go ahead and start adding in more pieces. I actually wouldn't mind before we finish up. Oh my goodness, a five by twelve. Marco, what are you doing to yourself? Let's go Alt R, Control S. Let's save that from here. Did I save? Control S, save. Let's go. Mirror, apply, apply, solidifier. From here. Plating generator, plating, add plates. Yeah, this is the bit that I was worried about. Yeah, it's ugly. Okay. All right. Let's get rid of this plating. Uh, 20%. 10%, 5%, delete. Let's go ahead. I don't want to plate this section. Maybe we'll just plate it manually. So I'm going to go shift D. We're going to go into on this second one. We're going to go solidifier. We're going to make this a zero. So it's just going to be ever so slightly bigger. I'm going to hide it for now. And I'm going to go like this, like this like this control b to do a bevel and then i'm going to go delete faces and then we can come in and start control b to do a bevel delete face let's maybe put one here and here control b do a bevel delete face and we'll snap one across here delete face uh, so this is how i normally like to do all my uh, panels if I'm doing them manually. Hey, what the heck is that? That is disgusting. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, actually, it's that one there. Sweet. Let's grab them, delete faces, and then we can come in and go mirror modifier. Put that to the top. And then if we kind of have a look, we have these plates. Now we can also come in and add a little bit of extra details on these plates. So I want to grab that one. I want to go GG. And for those of you who have been following a while would know that I love doing these kind of like a little, um, flourishes. Sounds like the right word. Uh, that is not a flourish. This one here is it. Let's put an edge loop through there. GG. Let's go GG. Nope. Let's 
got an edge loop through there, and we'll go GG. <sighs> okay. Uh, so, uh, I want to drive this. Let's <laughs> see. Physical Starlight add-on. Yes, that is an absolutely awesome add-on. Do I have it enabled at the moment is the next question. If I press F, if I press Alt F, environment, atmosphere. Yeah, so I got Physical Starlight add-on, but because I'm trying to do this uh, a little bit more faster, I'm gonna not enable it. Maybe for the final render, I might turn it on. Uh, so the next few years, OpenAI and Midjourney will start modeling 3D models. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, where does it leave artists' future? I think there will always be something um, us artists will have to do. So I agree with Tom there. Because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, they've created an AI like Midjourney. We still need to put it in. Like, I know, sure, every man, cat, and their dog can type something in. But at the end of the day... If you just make some, like if you just make an image, cool, you've made an image. Adding some bolts, yes, that'll be the plan as well, just like we did under here. So you can see how we've added in some bolts. Mm. Okay, yeah, I uh, hate it when Blender updates and changes the controls and hotkeys. So it's duplicated. Yes. So what I've done here is I duplicated it, the um, the mesh, and then I've added in a solidifier over the top, and then I've just started deleting some of the um, meshes. I can do this. All right, from here, Control B to do bevel, and then I'm going to grab B A A A, Control B, do another bevel. GG. There we go. Look at that. Grouse. So let's go ahead. I don't think we need this plate here. Delete vertices. That's kind of cool. That's an interesting plate in here. So let's go ahead and fix that up. I'm going to put an edge loop through here. Control B to do it. Delete faces. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Sakuraba! There we go, got rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and maybe do the underside somewhere. Maybe here. Let's do Control B and we'll just clear that up. Delete face. And that's just kind of like adding in there. Probably should have done that bevel like I spoke about earlier. But the donkey me forgot about it. So let's go Control B. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Um, let's go. Ooh, okay, let's go this edge, this edge. That, actually, the bottom side doesn't matter. So let's go GG. Yeah, nice. Let's have a look. What does it look like in rendered mode? Control S, save that puppy. It's not looking too bad. Maybe we can fix this up here as well. Uh, let's grab these faces here and here. G to the Y. G to the Y. Just kind of want to follow that line here. G, Y. Just so we got that in line. Uh, let's go shade smooth there. Looks like crud. Let's go into the normals. Auto smooth. That's looking grouse. Fully sick, bruh. Uh, back into the asset browser. Now I kind of, I just want like a piece just to m break that harshness up. Almost that even. Maybe that'll work. G scale. Nah, it's not gonna work. Don't like that piece. For that instance at the moment. We've got this piece here, which is semi-interesting. Um I don't have a piece, I can't think of it. 
Well, that's a good piece. Actually, let's steal that one. That one can go... Like here-ish, I reckon. Uh-oh. Oh no! Okay. My computer screens have gone black. Have I lost you guys? Crud. Oh, crud. Alright, we're back. <laughs> Look at the pause. Uh, bottom camera? Let's turn that off. I don't know if I'm still here. We can hear you. Beautiful. All right. I think my camera's frozen. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> All right. So let's turn that off now. We can't see. Oh, actually. What is, uh, is, it, is it working? Is it working? Camera working? No. Nah, it's just a beautiful pose of me going, no. Acquisition. Me not have happened. Okay, so let's continue on and we'll finish up now because the stream is now stuffed. Clearly pushing the computer a little bit too hard and the computer said no. Thanks computer, appreciate it. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's go into mirror modifier. Nice, select our body. I'm going to go something like this, rotate 90, and that kind of covers that section in there, yeah, which is what we're after. Just kind of like hide it. Uh, maybe we can go rotate Y, X, 90 degrees to the minus. Yes. Control S. Let's save that. And we will call it a night because it's stuffed. Uh, so this is what we got up to in the end for those people who are going to skip to the end and actually have a look what we've created So we pretty much went through the whole process in this used a whole bunch of assets from my kit bashing set um, I'm fairly happy with it. Let's just turn it upside down uh, Let's just get rid of that character for now hide Can you hide you don't want to mm. Really? I have to select everything? I figured that if I were to select a collection... It would hide. You? There we go. Alright, you're gone. So, it is looking fairly nice. Um, I do like how this part turned out. Let me just select this rig. Alt-R. So that's kind of cool. Not, I'm not too much of a fan of this section in here. So I'll probably have to come in and do quite a bit of work through there. Uh, what else? So, oi, make sure you go over to Deadset Digital. Can I, can I watch the latest short film? Shush, shush, shush. Go watch the latest. Subscribe to it. Le please. Um, this model will be available on the Patreons at a little bit later date. Probably this during the week I might do some work on it. Uh, I'll just quickly show you. Whoops, go over here like that. So we've uploaded from last week's one. Um, this was, I think, a fortnight ago. This is the Falcon. So we, these are all from all the live streams. I don't think, I think I did this one off live stream. These are materials, and there's a whole bunch of 3D scans that I've taken, which I will hopefully when I go interstate in two weeks, we'll get a whole bunch more, a whole bunch of engine bays, the download, blah, 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 blah. Go check it out. I'm cooked. I am so freaking tired. It is 20 past 12, and I question my life choices. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway. Have a great evening. Good morning, wherever you are. It is now Monday morning for me. <sighs> See you later. Thanks. Bye.